Hi, and welcome to Mad Canics. I'm Madman. And I'm Dubs. And today we're going to do a DIY tail tidy on a CF Moto and K650. Alright, so this is uh, from mustardbikes.com. They're in Margate in Tasmania. Um, so it was $125 at the time of recording. Um, obviously just comes with the mounting bracket and it also comes with a number plate light. So let's get stuck into this, quickly open it. Well, see how I cut towards myself. Alright, thanks for purchasing, blah 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 blah. Heaps and heaps of noodles, packing noodles, mounting bracket, bolts. I'm not sure even sure what these are, nice 3D, like the 3D printed brackets. And somewhere in amongst here, that's it. Nothing special, does the job. There you go. So yeah, mustard bike, www.mustardbikes.com, NK650 CF Moto Tail Tidy Kit. First you're going to want to remove your pillion seat using your key. Next up you're going to want to locate your wiring from the fender near the tail light and trace back to the plugs and unplug them from their wiring harnesses. Make sure you keep track from which ones goes to which, or you just wing it like we did. Then you're gonna remove four bolts holding it in place. And then gently remove the stock fender from the bike. After that, you're gonna remove the indicators from the stock fender. Gently feed the wiring back to the stock fender. Refit your OEM indicators into your new fender eliminator kit. Don't forget to fit the OEM nut and washer. First you're going to feed your wiring through the bracket and then through the hole in the rear of the bike. Place the supplied spaces on top of the fender eliminated kit. Make sure you align all the mounting holes. Make sure you tighten up all four bolts using the OEM mounting points. Plug all your plugs back into their wiring harnesses and make sure to check all of them in the right place. After you've done all that, make sure you tuck them back into their OEM fender harness. Now make sure you struggle to put your pillion seat back on. Make sure you refit your license plate and you're ready to go. Alright, so that took all of about, I don't know, 30 minutes in total with all fiddling about. 
uh, making some mistakes, obviously making sure we put those spaces in um, and feed the wires before putting it on. So just some little things that if I had read the instructions, it would have been good. So always read your instructions. Thanks for watching and hang around for some more videos. Thanks. Bye. Well, he assisted director. Yeah, assistant director down there.